This is the HD Fury Arcana, the only device that can enable Dolby Atmos sound with TVs using the older HDMI ARC format. If you've upgraded to a Sonos ARC or similar Dolby Atmos enabled soundbar only to realise your TV doesn't support Atmos, this is the device for you. It's a simple plug and play setup. It has one input for your device of choice such as an Apple TV and two outputs. One output that goes to a Sonos ARC's HDMI eARC port and one that goes to a TV's older format HDMI ARC port. It essentially acts as a middleman between your TV and soundbar, taking the full bandwidth of the sound from your input source like an Apple TV and sends it straight to the soundbar. It then uses a second HDMI cable to take the picture and output it to your TV. Because it only has one HDMI input, you'll either have to choose one device like I have, my Apple TV 4K, or use a HDMI splitter to have multiple HDMI sources feed into the HD Fury Arcana. As you can see, without the HD Fury Arcana, when I go to select a film on Disney+, Plus, it displays 4K HDR and Dolby 5.1 surround. Then, when you plug the Arcana in and reselect the same film, it now displays the film will be played back in full Dolby Atmos and even Dolby Vision, more on that later. It really is that simple. Plug it in and your old TV is now compatible with an Atmos enabled soundbar. Now, the Arcana has a few features I was unaware of when purchasing it. They certainly don't get discussed as much in videos I've seen. One feature is its low latency Dolby Vision, LLDV for short, to HDR10 conversion. This lets you plug a device that supports Dolby Vision into a TV that doesn't and get a close approximation of the effect. I turn this feature on and lo and behold my Apple TV now displays 4K Dolby Vision in the video format menu. I can't say how well it works as I don't have a Dolby Vision enabled TV at home to compare it to but I will say I definitely notice what looked like a bump in contrast and colours and ever so slightly deeper blacks. Now, the device is not without its problems, but the pros definitely outweigh the cons for me, but nonetheless, I thought it was important to flag some of the issues I've run into which weren't discussed when I first researched it. The most common annoyance, every time I power on my TV, a bright blue message from the Arcana appears on the bottom of the TV screen for a few seconds. However, this can be turned off via the menu on the device, selecting off in the OSD settings, but I'm not sure why this isn't set to off automatically. It took me a few months to discover this setting. The second quirk, sometimes when I switch an app on Apple TV or play pause a show, the screen goes black for a second or so. Not a major issue, but something to be aware of. The final and most frustrating issue, but one I've learned to live with, every once in a while, when I turn on my system, the sound doesn't work. I have to unplug the power from the HD Fury Arcana and plug it back in. A simple enough issue to fix, but it's by far the most frustrating one. There may be a fix for this, but I haven't found it yet. Should you buy one? If you're holding off buying a new TV, especially if your current one isn't old enough to justify being replaced already like mine, the HD Fury Arcana will solve many of your frustrations. It's not the cheapest device at $199, roughly £140 here in the UK, but you can often find them going for less on eBay like I did. Either way, it's cheaper than what you have to fork out for a new TV, and my plan is to put it to good use for a year or two until I upgrade my current TV. I'll then sell the HD Fury Arcana on eBay and recoup whatever money I can. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. I know I researched the Arcana for ages before biting the bullet. If you did enjoy the video, please consider subscribing or dropping a like. This is my first video and I have plans for many more over the next few weeks and months.